What is up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be talking about every single Lego set releasing on September 1st of 2024 because that time of the month is coming very soon. And for those of you who don't know, every first of the month, Lego drops new releases. And this September 1st happens to be some very, very good ones. And we're going to discuss all of them in today's video and whether or not we should pick up some of those sets. So get your credit cards because we got a new one and this bad boy is gold. And get ready, ladies and gentlemen, to swipe the card. Check that out, it's the Golden Robin Hood card. This is our brand new card for the LEGO channel. I'm really excited about it because it's freaking gold. So if you see me whipping this out all the time, it's because I'm extremely proud and I'll probably put a Stud City, um, <laughs> Stud City uh, sticker on it very soon, so. Anyways, get your Robin Hood gold, not sponsored, just someone who loves it. Let's jump straight on in today's video, guys. Come for the Lego, stay for the, the Robin Hood gold, I guess. Um, let's jump straight on into it. I'm going to section this off by theme, so without further ado, let's kick it off into Harry Potter. Did I do that right? Those of you at home, say it with me. Harry Harry Potter. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not good. Okay, the first Lego set is the Lego Harry Potter. Uh, 2024 advent calendar for those of you who don't know or are new into the lego space um lego has these advent calendars which counts down the 25 days till christmas which is a super fun thing to do i did my first one last year and i'm not gonna lie it, it, it's a lot of fun it comes with some like cool you know sometimes exclusives or like some small builds or like cool minifigs whatever it may be it, it, there's always something really cool and enjoyable inside one of these like i i do recommend it um don't get me wrong the 45 dollars is definitely a price hike over the last four years gosh i remember the back back in my day uh, these bad boys used to retail i think for like 30 bucks or something like that it was crazy um it's pretty common that these go on sale you know especially closer to the christmas time um and as well as just after the, the time but I, who who wants this after right like uh, you know unless you're saving it for the following year but like truthfully you just want it fresh new this year if you wait you might be lucky to get it in time uh and a sale so anyways this one's 45 dollars. harry potter pretty cool right uh pretty standard right i don't know all the harry potter characters uh, you do get harry it looks like you get um draco uh, Hermione in there. I don't know this character, but she looked cool with her dress um, on top there. And then um, I forget his name as well. Gosh, oh, drawing a blank. Harry Potter blank. Uh, but anyways, some re is that a more of a really solid minifig lineup. Moving on forward, another Harry Potter set that is definitely worthwhile to mention um, is the Burrow Collector's Edition. Now, when I first saw this set, I I, I was like, wow, this looks. I mean. It, it, it looks pretty fantastic and i was like this is gonna be like 300 400 bucks like I, I just thought it was way bigger than i was anticipating um i think it's decently priced it's 260 dollars for 2400 pieces and to be fair this is a very iconic building inside the lego harry potter you know genre inside harry potter genre right like the burrows right uh they made this in a play scale version i'm gonna say play scales it was just a lot smaller um with deuce time ago uh it's a lot smaller than this and way 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 less detailed i'm gonna argue that this set is really really good and i'm very much deciding on buying this day freaking one um there's a few things that i just really love about it i love that it's you know they're getting away from some of these dollhouse out when you give me collector edition stuff i love that you're able to open it see what's on side like inside like you can see all the details inside jam-packed with details the dollhouse style which i do like but i like the fact that you can close it and you have this complete build that you can display on a shelf that just like from all angles on a road like on a turntable or something i i love that and i think that's this set does it exceptionally well so with that being said, it is potentially one I might pick up on our September 1st midnight release live stream that we do here on the channel. So very impressive set. I'm, you know, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I like Harry Potter. Um, I've only seen probably like the first five movies. I don't even know how many they are now. I definitely need to catch up and watch the last maybe two, something like there. Um, I think me and Georgiana during the like holidays time, we're going to do a marathon of Harry Potter because we both really just want to watch it again. And I, I genuinely like Harry Potter, but just been a very long time so anyways that one's coming out on september 4th and uh insiders early make sure to be a lego vip back in my day it was vip but it's insiders nowadays uh that's gonna be on september 1st uh and then the last harry potter set is actually not a lego set that's gonna be attainable per purchase this is actually gonna be a juicy yes juicy why i do that juicy gwp aka a promotional item how to attain it is yet to be established 
However, we will cover that in a future video, don't you worry. I'm assuming you're going to have to swipe the card pretty heavily on uh, this set right here, the Burroughs Collector Edition. This is not guaranteed. I don't have any insider information. I have no idea. Um, I, to be quite honest with you, this is the first time I'm seeing this promo in person. I knew it was coming out, but I, I haven't seen the promo. But anyways, um, yeah, so it's the Borgen and Berkey's Flow Network. This is going to be a promo. I'm assuming it's going to be a day one buy with, with this, which kind of excites me and all the more reason, all the power to pick up the Burroughs day one. So that's kind of my thoughts and, re and rationale. Um, those are the three Harry Potter sets coming out. Now let's move into Lego Ideas, AKA Disney. Uh, this is a Disney set. Well, it's marked Disney, but uh, it falls under the line of Lego Ideas. I actually do have a copy of the set early and we're building it live here on the channel. It is the Disney Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I actually knew very little about the set. I wasn't sure if this was a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. Georgia and I just watched this for the very first time the other night. And hard watch, I will, I'll give it that. Uh, I kind of like the story behind it, but uh, I, in all due fairness, I think the movie is from like 1993. Watching it for the first time, to be fair, was a little bit difficult. I don't get all of the hype and rave about it, other than the fact that there's some like fire tunes for like Halloween. Like, I do give that, and I do like the characters. I, it's, it's decent, right? Like, I like the thought of it more than I actually like the movie, if that makes any sense. And that's coming from someone who watched it for the very first time at 25 years old here in 2024. But regardless, this set's retailing for $200, which did feel was a little bit on the higher end for everything that you kind of get inside of it. Definitely feeding off the fact that this is a classic, and people probably have a lot of nostalgia to this, this movie, and just have a lot of, like, you know empathy towards it and just you know decorate the house because of halloween for it um which is all rightly so right like you know that's one of the reasons we buy stuff like this it is for the most part a really really cool set so i'm i'm more most excited about the minifigs that you get inside of it um of course getting a new uh jack um with the tall legs i really really do like that uh for those of you who don't know i think it was i don't remember if it was a cmf or i forget what exactly what it was but you were able to get uh jack uh, as a minifig before you did have side arm printing and like side le or torso printing which looked really good you don't get that in this case but nonetheless still a really really good le lego minifigure i really just love the tall legs it like really makes the character you get the doggy as well zero i think that's phenomenal on uh, these three characters as well with santa coming out of that uh, they're like satchel thing that it, it's just love the minifig i think the, the minifigs for me are just top tier in this in this set really and then sally as well um, I, I like it. I like it. I'm, I'm really excited about this one. And I think it's going to perform extremely well. I really do. I think it's, it's a solid set. I wish it was a little bit cheaper, but I, that's coming from someone who does <laughs> covers Lego deals and can wish every Lego set could be cheaper. Moving forward, let's talk about, you know, it's holidays, right? We got a Christmas set coming out. These are the seasonal sets. Um, all the Christmas table decoration. I do have a copy of the set in hand. So if you want to see me do anything spectacular with it, let me know. I think me and Georgiana are going to make like a nice little table display for it. I think it'll look really cool. Georgiana actually said, this is the first time ever. She said, I'm going to display this in the house. And one of my rules in the house that I got portrayed upon myself was no Lego outside the Lego room. And for Georgiana to say that, I think it has to mean a lot. This set is fantastic. It looks so real. It almost, it, it, not almost, it does not look like Lego. I cannot wait to build this and display this. It is, it's impressive. And, you know, 40 bucks for a, you know, basically a all time Christmas display it's a decent bang for your buck. So uh, the, that one I'm pretty confident about. I am. I'm, a, I'm pretty confident on this one. It, it looks really, really well. Doesn't feel like Lego to me. I, it's phenomenal. Well, hi, hats off to Lego on this one. I can't wait to build it uh, more on that in a future video. And then also another Christmas set we have is the Christmas ornament selection. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a very long time, I do do a Lego Christmas tree every single year. It's a lot of fun. It's a normal Christmas tree, but I just use Lego ornaments. So I hope not to confuse you. Uh, regardless, this has four ornaments on it that I will be building and placing on that tree. I love the Christmas ornaments from Lego. I think they're fantastic. Um, they're always something unique and in the most part, a little bit different. Uh, and I don't have any in this like circular shape with that kind of look and resemble this. So I'm excited to add these to my collection. Um, yeah, I will be building those very soon. $12.99, pretty standard. I feel like that's pretty common across the price points between like 10 and 15 bucks for these ornaments all the time you do get four of them so i feel like that's a pretty fair price for what you get inside of this um and then the last seasonal set is the halloween one this is the halloween barn now it is 15 dollars, and i do have one nitpicky thing about this set i think it should have included an extra minifigure in my opinion it should have either came with a uh you know a black cat or potentially a like zombie minifigure just something else 
to make it like one step better. But I, I do love the fact that it opens up like this and it's kind of like your monster house kind of feeling how or monster barn, whatever you want to call it. It's got like the teeth there. It's got the eyeball. It's cool. Like it is a cool $15 set. And I think because you got some of these play features encompassed into it, that's why they just put one skeleton and called it a day. But regardless, I love these Halloween and seasonal sets. They're a lot of fun to build. They actually bring me a lot of joy. So I'm assuming it brings a lot of other people joy. So that kicks off our seasonal sets. Let's move forward to the uh, one of the biggest September 1st releases. And this is going to be its own category. This is Zelda. This is the Legend of Zelda Great Dooku Tree 2 and one which you could build this tree in two different variations. It is the dollhouse style here on the back with some uh, details on there, um, jam packed with, you know, that main room details. But overall, just again, a massive Lego set that has a little, you know, additional side attachment there. But like, look at the scale of this thing. You could build it in that like pink flower tree or you could build it in the green one. It is an impressive set. And $300 definitely seems steep, but from what I've seen from pictures of other people building and displaying this set, like, don't let that steer. Like, it doesn't look that big, but I believe the set is pretty much a behemoth. It's very massive. Now, it only does come with four minifigures and, you know, exclusive to the set, right? Getting a lot of new molds and stuff. I really do want to buy this set because I want the minifigures. And it's like, oh, I have to spend $300 to get these four minifigures. But that's the name of the game. They go. Uh, I know this is going to be a highly anticipated set. I'm excited to see how this one does in the, in the near future. I'm going to be honest though, from my perspective, I definitely think this set will go on sale. So for me, I don't think it makes sense to buy it day one. Uh, it just seems like it's a little bit miss on the price point. Like it definitely could have been, I'm sure there's a lot of licensing fees, but 300 feels a little bit steep for what you get inside of it. Moving on forward, we have a new collectible minifigure series dropping, and this one's going to be the Dungeons and Dragons. Here is a full box of the D&Ds. I will actually have a box of these early um, and probably going to sell them in auction on Drip if you guys are interested, potentially next weekend. Um, so let me know. I do have a couple boxes early. Um, I've had them way early. The I had bought them from Tyler from Lifebricks, so huge shout out to Tyler. I would ordered a few of them and uh, I would love to love to let you guys get your hands on them early if possible but uh, only if you guys are up for it if not I'll just be opening them up and doing like a review or something like that but regardless here they are five dollars and there is a set of 12 minifigures which I'm gonna argue all 12 look very unique and very very good I love the D&D theme I think it's so cool um it's just totally totally fantasy and I, I love everything about it so i'm really excited about these dropping for five bucks um i do want to collect all 12 of these moving forward we have one lego star wars set and this happens to be a lego star wars advent calendar oh we've talked about advent calendars in the beginning of today's video and that's probably where we're gonna end it um, the advent calendar comes with a bunch of side builds um i won't go too far into detail with them because i've definitely covered this in a past video but for the most part, I am excited for the Christmas sweater Luke. Uh, I, I love getting the Christmas sweater minifigs. I think they're pretty cool for the most part. Um, and you do get a Soka in there, 501st Leia, uh, uh, a guard, and then also a super battle droid. So anyways, I, I also do, my favorite build is probably this blue TIE fighter. Uh, definitely a callback to like one of the OGs. And I think that's an OG X-Wing. So cool side builds. I'm excited for that. I'll probably try to find that one on sale and actually build it for the 25 years of Christmas. Uh, 25 days of christmas we also have a, the lego city theme uh we have one item in the lego city theme um it is a advent calendar as well a bunch of just miscellaneous stuff that you can place in the lego city on the micro scale level and you do get a bunch of minifigs looks like a dog there i like the dog it is um he's wearing like a doggy vest that's pretty cool you do get mrs claus and mr and santa claus that's pretty nice i feel like we're often getting a santa claus in it just makes sense right in the city advent calendar so that nothing new on that one we also have a marvel moving into the marvel theme a marvel advent calendar this is spider-man 2024 so technically it's a marvel slash spider-man one um it looks like we're getting some pretty cool minifigs in there you get spider gwen you get green goblin those are and then spider-man is the only other minifig that i know of from from those movies but uh, i'm sure there's far better channels that um, know more marvel <laughs> you guys know me i'm not a superhero fan but hey if you're a spider-man fan this is this is probably for you. We next have a Lego Disney um, advent calendar, and this happens to be the mini dolls. So it looks like we're getting a bunch of different movies. Um, the one I could think of, that's Encanto. Um, that's The Little Mermaid. And then that is Frozen. That's either, I think that's Elsa. Mm, maybe I mixed it up. Maybe I mixed it up. Anyways, it's the mini dolls. 
Um, so that that's that's pretty nice. 24 gifts for the 25 days of Christmas. And then the last one is the Lego Friends. Uh, the last theme we're going to talk about, we have one Friends theme set coming out. This is the advent calendar for the Lego Friends. Again, being the mini dolls, um, it looks like you get a bunch of different mini dolls inside of this one. And again, like all the other advent calendars, a bunch of different side builds, like couches, just random things, right? A little train set. So anyways, that one's a little bit cheaper. You can kind of notice the price is $32 on September 1st, whereas some of the other ones were $45. Of course, Friends being a Lego themed uh, owning the rights versus licensed themes like Marvel, Spider-Man, uh, you know, Disney or um, Star Wars. They're a little bit higher price point at 45. So kind of put that in perspective. But uh, anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you guys think. What do you plan on buying on September 1st? I want to hear it all in the comments below. I love reading your guys' comments. Are you going to be swiping the card or are you going to be waiting out for more Lego deals? Um, I, for one, think I'm going to go, especially if this promo is exclusive to the Harry Potter theme, I think I'm going to go all in on the Burrows because it just makes sense. You guys know me. I love a juicy GWP. It just makes sense. And then, of course, if you want to see more future videos like this, October 1st is coming around the corner very, very fast. And we have cool sets coming out for October 1st as well, like this baby pig's birthday celebration. Look at this. This, this is insane. We'll cover more of these, though, in a future video. For now, hit that subscribe button, like today's video, and we'll see you at the midnight release live stream September 1st, baby. See you guys there. Can't wait. Love you guys. Peace out.